I hope the sound works on this one. Okay, um, I hear about Cindy's baby. And it's, I can't just hear about it and go on and forget about it and walk away and go on with like my day and I think I can't, I can't live knowing these things are happening as we speak. So, like a little bit of a and it's like part of it. Ancestral families, ancestral breeding, breeding, multi generational. That we're going back to even the Bible days and stuff like that. Then talking about back in those times and stuff that these uh, dragons began trying to capture the powers of God in one of his creations and then inhabit or take that body and then take God and make it work, our creator, God is whatever you want. Um, they're not our we were being recreated by that, but our original creator had some homer for home. Our things like Santa Claus and and Zeus and um, Gandalf, kind of, you know, all Santa Claus, all oh, that's Green Man, um, but he, uh, our real creator, Osiris, before he was slain, I guess, I don't know, I call him home from home, because he tells me that the name God, when people pray to God, there's so many different beings on so many different dimensions or so many different agendas that answer him. You don't want to fight the crowd. But he, Homer for home, don't mean God's name is Homer. He was just like, call him that. But so, in the days when I wrote about the Revelation, the Revelation is a chapter that was added, added on to the Bible way after there was a, a whole Bible. You know, let's say, the revelation part are people that were used for controlled breeding through certain bloodlines in order to capture certain DNA and certain people by controlled breeding incest, incestual babies that's these families that wild doing with all incest families and to keep the bloodline pure so that they can get this DNA back and try to capture this DNA by creating that loves us. Homer of Osiris before he was slain of the King Leo, not the young King Leo, the, the one the lion king, the one that ancient. There's a newer King Leo here now. He's way young, <laughs> younger. Um, so they there's this thing called the Varil machine, okay, and the dragons can only inhabit certain bodies. Of certain humans have a certain or energy field or DNA, which is only 3% of the population. And all of the people that have this aura, which make up 3% of the world, what did four years ago, whatever, but I'm the only one person in the world that has this DNA that's compatible for them to inhabit that's outside of their controlled breeding families, the controlled breeding. And, um, they asked me to have a baby even a year before he was conceived, the baby Lucifer, and um, the Varel machine that artificially enhances the triple helix, activates it so that the powers of God are unnaturally activated in his people, or maybe naturally in his people, and then these are just God's people that they, they want to, because they want the baby, baby, because Michael, when I pressed God and Tiffany, I told you about what they did the baby, and, uh, they asked me to conceive the baby a year before because only a handful of women could conceive just a couple that had this DNA and I was the only one that got a choice. I mean, but Tiffany, she had the baby. He's about six months old now. I'm, I'm losing track of time, but Michael, I mean, he started talking. We've had a lot. If you look online, there's all kinds of stuff. We've been through a lot of, you know, we just but it heads for a long time and then we're friends with better heads but then all of a sudden he's because you know he's kept trying to get the girls pregnant get the son get the son i couldn't get pregnant with the son there was some daughters i think but every child that they have goes to the the royal society the feeble society you know that um 
in jail the dog he's in Germany he's over like he's a scientist and stuff but he's the one that introduced Tiffany to Michael and, and Trinity and me and told Trinity to come to me and so Trinity this was all guided and asked me to conceive so it's jail the dog is like you know, super smart mind control operator Illuminati scientist I don't know too many details more about him than that but uh, so the baby was born and met this ritual because um, Michael no, Prescott and Tiffany Hunholt and Supreme David Rockefeller, okay, all, they were, the, the Supreme David Rockefeller was the first person ever to be enhanced in this real machine. I'm just to enhance triple force to the powers of the gods and this is so that can be controlled by something that's called anorakia or anorak, that spider bird, anorakia or whatever. And 